can also build your van on our website to see what the pricing is going to be like. You can build it all out yep. and see the pricing right on the website. Yep, easy peasy. We try to make it the most bang for buck build out on the market. And yeah, we can source your van for you too because that's like the biggest thing in the world. We can source it new, used, get you a good deal. You do a front with the big sign? Sure. Because this is a big shot. Where are we? We are at GeoTrek, the new HQ, back in Boulder. Back in Boulder. Now, yeah, I, some yeah. things are different. You have expanded. Yes. The Empire Kenny has expanded. <laughs> that means business is booming. That means customers are loving what you're doing. Yes, sir. Okay, so how big was your old uh, your old location? Old location. So our previous location was 7,200 square feet. Okay, 7,200. Yep. Where are we at now? 24,000. 24,000. You know, like they say, moving on up. We've been invited today to get a little tour. Yes, sir. Behind the scenes, still moving in. You told me the sign just went up today. So we're the first tour you're doing on camera for the big YouTubes. Yep. Welcome. So we are now painting, thanks to the man Enrique over here. Hey, Enrico. Okay. All right. Looking beautiful around here. In here, we have our conference room and take a sales call in here. We also have team meetings in here. So that's kind of nice. We're going to have a, uh, a full cabinet assembly. That way the customers can walk in and see like colors. Showroom. Yeah. Here. Hold on, and this then... is the sales lounge? Yes, sir. That means if I come in here, he's gonna try to get my money. Is this the leaderboard right here? Yes. Kenny, Kenny, don't get this. Don't get this, Kenny. Don't get this. Don't get this, Kenny. It's all secretive. Well, for the month. We still have seven days. We can hit our PRs. What's our 17? And then the money tree for, obviously. That's the money tree? Yeah. Why she got the money tree? Cause she gets the money and then welcome to Grant's room. Oh, yep. these are nice cabinets. Let me check them out. Let me. Open that top one. <laughs> this is where they keep the booze, Kenny. Oh, you do have a nice view. Look at this. This is a full <laughs> command center right here. You got your whole office dialed in right now. And he knows how to read, Kenny. Look at all these books. I've always thought that people with all these books with a humidity sensor around their books, okay? This thing's maybe can't read, I don't know. His rollerblades, he went to Wyoming just uh, just for a stroll one time. What, from here? Yeah. In rollerblades? And, and then he's doing 100 miles in uh, next month. On How'd you get back? mile race. Well, yeah, Mark picked me up. Yeah. I don't understand, on the highway? Yeah. Yeah, on the highway. Almost got hit a few times. Yeah. <laughs> hold, hold on. You, with these people texting and driving? They either loved it or they're like, this guy. That's the craziest oh, thing I've ever seen. Look them legs down there, Kenny. Them legs are ready to work. I couldn't go around the parking lot. Please. Kenny, I look good, man. I don't know what happened to you, man. I, look at me, though. So we're making a wall. We want to go right there. Put us right there. You got it. Here's some more favorites. That's John Life. There's Kelly. <laughs> this is Felicia. She just bought a van. Ooh. She's decking it out in Gucci. This is, uh, this is Jeremy's office slash our imagination station. Okay. So we'll write stuff on here late at night. I love that. And uh, sit on the bean bag. Chopstick will sleep there a lot. Jeremy, he does four tens off today and uh, designs all of our cabinets. How many how many hours would you say you work in a week? Probably like 90. 90. Maybe 100. I don't really? know. It depends. It really depends. Like I think this past month, probably like 100, but maybe like usually 75. What do you eight. think about these youngsters that are like, I'm really trying to work about 25? I guess my mother. Well, I guess it's just a different lifestyle. What are you trying to build? <clears throat> what are your goals? This in here, this is my office and it's a little unconventional, but has the quick door access to the warehouse. Um, yeah, a bunch of weird stuff in here. Oh, this is great. Was this here? Yeah, it was here. It's perfect. It's a perfect temp, Kenny. Look at this. And this way you know people wash their hands. You can see them. Here's our display van that I just got back from the expo that I have to take some stuff out of with the Nomadic X2 in there. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Look at that thing. Yeah. And the Starlink flat mount up there. Um, what you, have you tried the new, the small one? The Starlink Mini? Yeah. Yes. That's actually how we had Wi-Fi for the first week at our new warehouse here. So really? We, I just set up the Starlink Mini and we were all using it. Would you it. go with a Mini from now on? I personally would because like I'm going to go to a, do a trip um, in Alaska here soon and, and just I'm just going to pack my Mini in the backpack and just be off grid. Throw it up. Yeah. And, and oh, actually you just put it on the dash of any car. 
This is our gantry crane, and basically it's gonna pick up all the material, drop it in here, and then our CNC operator will cut the materials on the table, and then it will go right to cabinet assembly, and then we will put it from the cabinet assembly to our oil room, and then from the oil room to our cabinet carts. This door is huge. Yeah, it's massive. So you actually can shut this one. And no then way. When that one goes up, um, you can uh, still keep the AC in, in here. It's AC and heating out here. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's a really big deal. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, it, you know what it means? It means you're spending extra money to keep your employees happy. I hope so. Really, what it means. I hope so. Now, this. Do you know how to run this thing? Uh, I know how to click the the print. The much, print button. But, uh, no, Evan. Evan runs it full time. Okay. So. It's a full-time job. You have to come in with the knowledge. It's not something you just learn. You could learn it. It just would take some time. But yeah, Evan, Evan already knows how he's been been trained, and uh, and it's Jeremy, our designer, works on the cabinet, uh, the software. So and no. this is uh, this is not a cheap piece of machinery. No, nope. no. What is something like? It's important to know what like stuff costs just to make stuff. Yeah. You know? It's like the comment is, why are these vans so expensive? You know, uh -huh. and it's like, oh man. This machine is... Yeah, it's about, like the whole setup that yeah. we have to make it run is about 80 grand. Okay, that's a van. Uh -huh. You have to spend a van, you know, an empty van, yeah. just to make wood to go in a van. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you, you can compound that as you go through the shop. Uh -huh. Like everything you just compound. You can't just wake up one day and say, I'm gonna make a van. Like you don't have this. Yeah. It's, it's important. You know, I think for the customer to see like this, and this thing's new. Yeah, about a, yeah, less than a year, yeah. year old, so. Yeah, fantastic. This is our cabinet cart, so once it's done and ready to go to a van, we have everything on here that's organized properly, so we'll get all of our inventory, put it in here, that way the builder has everything they need to go build the van. Can you get me? Oh, it's raining too. Look at that. So yeah, there we have our mountains. It's, this is Boulder. Yes, sir. This is our tool room. We, again, we just made this like a week ago. Team Dewalt. This is great. And you just, I mean, you've only been here for a couple weeks. Yep. And this room right here, we demoed. We're in the process of it. It was drywall, glass, everything. Now we're, we're almost there. We're taking the, the rest of the building down this week. Just and, so you uh, more square footage. More square footage. This is uh, a band getting lizard skins right now, basically. Just adding a thermal barrier inside. Does it work? What do you think? I think it does, yeah. yeah. It does, pretty nice. Well, once you take it outside, you touch the ceiling, it doesn't feel hot like it usually, like a metal roof would yeah. be. So it's pretty good. And then we'll add the thin slit right over top of that. Do you think it's worth doing like uh, like the side doors, how like all the metal comes in? You think it's worth doing the whole slider door too? Yeah, usually we'll sound end those because we don't want to get the uh, lizard skin on the components and the mechanics of that. Mm. So we'll have to tape it off. Um, but usually we'll just put our um, thermal, gosh, our uh, sound deadening on the doors okay. and then lizard skin the entire van, including the headliner shelf, and then um, insulate the doors and then the whole van. So it is a bit expensive and I usually tell people, if you want to do lizard skin, I would only do it if you're going to be in it during the day. Like you're going to be working, you know, remotely. So I would just say, yeah. but for me, I'm just going to kind of crash in it at night and not really care, I probably wouldn't do it, not but worth it's kind of- Not worth the money. It depends it, on the person. You think it does anything for the sound? Absolutely, Okay. 100%. It's, uh, yeah, it's very noticeable when I'm driving. <laughs> X248 volt, there we go. And then uh, insulation, the insulation. Wow. We're gonna, we usually hang it, but we haven't got there yet. We're gonna hang it on a, a metal rack. That way you can just pull it across the table and cut it. That's what cut we it. used to do. It's hard to cut this stuff, isn't it? Yeah, we use this, uh, this little guy, fabric cutter. Ooh. You just pull this thing. I have cut the cord. <laughs> okay. That was me. This is our um, service bay, detailing bay. Um, so we'll just bring vans in here, bring vans out here. Um, same thing with that one. When a van comes in, it's gonna come in that door and be serviced there. This one, went, we went 30 inch bed. Usually we do a 36 inch bed. So the, usually people will want it kind of high for bikes, but this, particular person wanted it a little bit lower, a lot more headroom, and then they went with the white faces. Yeah, and then we also went with a, uh, a garage tray. And uh, sometimes the trickiest thing in the world is people will have 
a custom request that they'll just cling on to. And like, it's so hard for us to say no, but we have to draw the line somewhere. So for this person, it was this little lip right here. You know, it's making it where you can pull bikes in and out very easily. We usually just do like a, a, tr a tray and match the same mm -hmm. height right there. But it's like, easier to build. Yeah. So we usually try to say no to many things because it opens the door for craziness in the shop here. But sometimes we do cave. So because you had to, is this wood? Or is yeah, this yeah, it's yeah. A, it's wood. It's it's a black hex pattern wood. I had like 200 sheets at a time, so it's pretty cost effective. Same thing with the bamboo, just straight to source. Cause Containers at a time. Yeah, this is one in phase one, phase two uh, status. It's it's about ready to, to enter the build. Um, this one over here is getting built on. Um, wall panels, ceiling's gonna go up next. Here's the ceiling. Wow. Our one piece, no seam. So Look at that. Yeah. And then there's your hole for the, the nomadic. That's us? Yep. You think that little X2 has enough cooling for a, for a big van like that? I guess you have to set your expectations. I, yeah. mean, you don't have, I, th I think it, it does, uh, it decreases it. But if it's 100 degrees out, I wouldn't expect it to be 70 okay. degrees in there. Yeah. If it's, you know. What about for sleeping at night? That's what I only use it for. Okay. And that's what I actually recommend it for just because of the power. If you want to run an AC unit all day, you're going to have to hook up to short power. Yeah. So I just say, hey, turn it on at 8 or 9 p.m and then let it, you know, let it run for eight hours and then, then uh, you know, wake up and drive your battery to, to charge it back up a little bit in the solar. So, um, yeah, you're gonna run it all day and cooling is really important to you. You know, maybe go to a, a larger AC unit, yeah. like the X2s. Split or, system, probably. Yeah. Yep. So this is another van bay that will have a van come in. Um, when one's done with phase one, come right in. And uh, there's all of our inventory, so. This is great. Yeah. Look, they already got the bays down on the floor, clean floors, Kenny. And then we're gonna have more build bays here, potentially, um, you know, once that building's down. Well, you get another, what, four to six right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we could honestly build eight at a time, I think, pretty comfortably. Um, and ideally, I think this warehouse capacity, I really do think we can hit six to eight in a week. Well, so hey, I think we have room to grow here. And that's the thing about buying, getting a warehouse, it's like you have to, Think about what that future is going to look like because they make you sign three to five year leases. So this building allows you to hire more people yep. and better quality people that want to work here. I would say. Yeah. I mean, thank you for taking the time. You're obviously very busy. People are hustling around here. You're ripping stuff down. You're building vans out here. This is an exciting time. I appreciate it. Do me a favor. Uh, can you put it in the notes there? But tell people where they can find you. You can find us on our website at geotrekvans.com. Also, our Instagram is geotrekvans. Uh, you can also build your van on our website to see what the pricing is going to be like. You can build it all out yep. and see the pricing right on the website. Yep, easy peasy. We try to make it the most bang for buck build out on the market. And yeah, we can source your van for you too because that's like the biggest thing in the world. We can source it new, used, get you a good deal. You do the whole thing. Absolutely. Okay, easy are, peasy. Are you on the Facebooks? Yes, on Facebook. YouTube. YouTube. On YouTube. You're on the YouTube. Yeah. Go to geotrekvans.com to learn more about their simple buying system and beautiful vans. Guys, let's go further in comfort together.